You know what I mean? That's going to be your confirmation. Stop looking for it every day in the mirror yourself. Matter of fact, stay out the mirror for like 60 days and just work out. Then go back to that mirror and you're going to see the progress, guaranteed, yeah. if you're putting in that work. Yeah. That part. That's a fact, because you might not see the results to the naked eye. This is another tip that I usually give people. Every 30 days, take a picture. Or once a week, take a picture. Like you said, don't work out, then go look in the mirror. <laughs> work out, wake up, go look in the mirror. <laughs> you're not going to see the difference. You will see the difference if you take that still shot, though, that photo. You might not see it with your naked eye, but when you put that day one and day 30, you're like, oh, shit, wait a minute. I ain't even noticed that. That's going to help give you the motivation. But stop watching the number two because 200 pounds could look different on a person that's out of shape and a person that's in shape. Yeah. We both could be 200 pounds. This person is shredded to shit. Right. Your ass is fat and sloppy. Y'all both 200 pounds, but it's a difference. So. Right. And muscle you know. weighs more than fat. Definitely. But also, make sure you love yourself at every stage. A lot of people, like you said, okay, don't look at yourself for 30 days. But give yourself grace and love yourself at every stage because every stage is going to look different for everybody. So if you fat than a motherfucker, you got to love yourself right now because once you get skinny, you're going to you're still not going to like yourself. Regardless of what is going on in life, people always have to keep in mind that health is wealth. Good health is everything, bro. Working out is the most important thing for a human being. You have to stay healthy out here. Yeah, you can chase money and all that, but if you're not in shape, you can't really enjoy it. What's the point of getting to a bag, but then you go to a store to buy some fly stuff, but it don't look good on you because you're out of shape. And also it's beneficial for your mental health as well. Working out helps men with depression if you're going through some stuff bro the best thing you could do is hit the gym live in the gym fam that's going to be therapeutic for you and also as you work out you have to eat clean eat clean every day like my routine is usually from monday to friday eat straight clean greens fish couple of nuts beans but i eat clean and then on the weekend that's when I have some fun. That's when I eat whatever. But I'm disciplined enough from Monday to Friday to keep a great nutrition. Because the thing about your body is this. You could work out as much as you want. But if you don't eat right, it's going to be a waste of time. And you don't want to put that nasty shit in your body. And that's the beauty once you decide to start taking care of your body. You will want to refrain from eating bad food. Because... Bad food will affect your energy. Your energy is not going to be pure and vibrant as when you eat clean. So that's why I'm big on eating clean and staying healthy, bro. And then when you stay healthy, it, it gives you a high. You walk around and you vibrate on a very high level. You look at life different. So nevertheless, fellas, make sure y'all make time and get fit. Get healthy. I mean, you can chase the money all you want. But it got to start with your health, man. All right? So keep that in mind. I just heard that men are more likely to fall in love with women when they are away from them, when they're on their own, and they have time to, like, process their thoughts and feelings by themselves. Whereas women, we fall more in love when we are with the person, right? Like, we're next to them. We can see them, hear them, touch them, feel them. We fall more in love in that way. That makes sense to me. The fact that men might be falling more in love with us when they're away from us is like simultaneously the craziest thing I've ever heard. But then also on one hand, I'm like, wait, that actually feels like it makes sense. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Out of sight, out of mind. Here's the thing, fellas. This just proves that women are not really in love with you. They are only in love with the feeling that you provide. Whereas men, we love women. Like we really be in love type shit. So once we away, it's like we think about our loved one even more. It's like, damn, this chick is on my mind type shit, right? Because you're in love with her. Whereas a woman, once you're not there to give her that feeling that she likes, she's thinking to herself, uh, where can I find another feeling? What to do? Where can I find? I, I, need, I need that feeling. She's thinking about the feeling. She's not thinking about you. And that's why I be trying to tell y'all, bro, it's easy to get the pussy, bro. Just don't fall in love. That's the worst thing a man could do because these women don't love men for real. They only 
love the feeling they don't love you now don't get me wrong of course a woman could care a lot about a man like she could care for you you know what i'm saying but as far as the feeling the lust the fire that keeps her wrong that's a feeling bro and as a man you gotta be aware of that so fellas be wise out here man for real what is your relationship status i got a girl bro are you looking fine so do you spoil your girl i do man you, know like, you got i feel like you got to you know what i'm saying when you're in a relationship you gotta spoil your, you know what i'm saying 2023 you really have to spoil your girl do you feel like that yeah Females nowadays, if you're not providing, you know what I'm saying? If you're not spoiling them, they're going to, they you know what I'm saying? They're going to they gonna find somebody else. No, That's no, what's going to I trust my girl. Though. I want you to call your girlfriend right now and tell her you lost your job Ooh. and see how she reacts. How do you think she's going to react? I think she's going to hold it down. All right, best. So call her right now. Let's see. Put it on speaker. Hello. How you doing, babe? I'm good. What's up? Uh, I ain't going to lie. I need to talk to you about something. You got time? What happened? What's wrong? I just got fired. Oh, shit. You got fired? Yeah. All that money is gone. All the money is gone? What you mean all the money is gone? So what are you going to do? He's like, you have another job, right? Like, give you something like a backup? Like, what are you going to do? Nah, God. I'm broke. You're broke? Huh? Yeah, babe. Like, you don't have anything to save you? I can't get you nothing for your birthday, though. Oh. Can't get nothing for my birthday. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh. Um, I don't know how this how this gonna work. I've been trying to level up, like this is bad. Like shaking my head. You gotta you gotta go. I'm not gonna lie. But you work though, so it's good. I'm like what? Get off my phone. Um, bro, so you gonna stay with her? Oh. This is the exact reason why you don't feed the birds. If you meet a chick and you spoil her, what you're doing is introducing her to a lifestyle that if for some reason your money slows up, she's going to leave you in a heartbeat because you, you no longer can provide that lifestyle and that's what she liked about you from the jump. That's why I be telling dudes, bro, don't lead with your wallet because once you lead with your wallet, you telling a woman, yo, this is what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to spoil you. I'm willing to give you the world. I'm willing to spend money on you. So coming in, even if she was attracted to you, she might lose some of the attraction and more so look at you as a sponsor. You see what I'm saying? She's going to more look at you as a sponsor versus a dude that she's attracted to. And bro, once the money slows up, it's a wrap. And that's for any dude who got a girl that he spoils. That shit is all cool when you up. But when you down, she's going to stray. She's not going to be by your side. Because when you down, that's when she have to like you now. The lifestyle that you provided her, that's no longer there. So she can't like the lifestyle anymore. So now it's, it's just you and her. And that's when you're going to realize that she never liked you in the first place. She only liked the fact that you spoiled her. So fellas, be careful out here, man, for real. Ladies, I really have to say, I'm having such a good year. Like, I'm having a really good time. Like, I think, this man's old, but I must say, I think I am, I might be trying to be like, exaggerating right now, but I think I am spiritually connected to this man. I kid you not. I'm having a blast. This is the first date that I've ever been on where I cried, where I tear up talking about spirituality. This man is Chef Kiss. Chef Kiss. I'm, really, I'm like, I'm already invited to a trip. <laughs> I really like him. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.